Let's look at this problem we have. Let's draw a picture first. We've got a bit of wall here with a couple of bits of wood in it. It's got a few bits of wood in it. And this time let's kind of let's slice it up like this and look at these parts like this. And we can kind of ignore everything that's happening up here and ignore everything that's happening down here. So we need to first of all work out this part and then work out this part and then we can put them together. So let's call this um let's call this A and let's call this B. And so these are now in series and we've got U A 1 over U A is this bit plus this bit plus this bit. This is um this is glass wool. So let's call this bit here U G W and this bit's wood. Let's call this U W. So one over U A is uh, one over U G W plus one over U W plus another one over U G W. So we need to know what U G W is and what U W is. Uh, so let's try and work those things out. So U G W is going to be, let's do this on a different page. Um, U G W is glass wool is um, 0 0.04 is the thermal conductivity. It's 100 millimetres, so divide it by 0 0.1, which gives us 0 0.4 watts per metre squared Kelvin. Uh, and U for wood is 0.16. Again, it's 100 millimetres, 0.1 of a metre. So that's 1.6 watts per metre squared Kelvin. So for glass wool, we've got 0.4. And for wood, we've got 1.6. And let's go back to here then. So if we put these in, uh, 1 over UA is going to be... Oh, there are two. these two are the same. So it's actually 2 over UGW plus 1 over UW. Uh, which is 2 over 0.4 for glass wool, plus 1 over 1.6 for the wood, which is, and let's just get, let's use a calculator to work this out, uh, because first of all, it's probably quicker. Secondly, it's probably more accurate. And if we can do it in our head, we could do that in our head. If we can do it in our head, then um, that's a good way of checking that we've got the right answer. So that's um, 0.2, 2 divided by 0.4 plus 1 divided by 1.6 is 5.625. That's 1 over UA, so that gives us UA equal to, uh, we can use this useful 1 over X button here, and it's uh, 0 0.177777. Uh, we just need to put 0.178 here, should do. That's what's per meter squared. Kelvin, so that's UA. Um, next, um, UB. Uh, we can look at this as being, um, let's look at this as being um, one, two, three UGWs in series. And let's just get another bit of paper. Let's try using this one. So, one over UB is 1 over u g w plus 1 over u g w 
plus 1 over u g w, uh, also known as 3 over u g w. Uh, that's 1 over u b. So we can turn this upside down. u b is then u g w divided by 3. Uh, u g w is 0.4. 0.4 divided by 3. So 0.4 divided by 3 is another another job for the calculator. Uh, 0.4 divided by 3. So it's 0 0.133. Again, that's what's per meter squared Kelvin. So, where have we got now? We've got UB here. Uh, we've got UA over here. So the next thing we need to work out, and I think we're going to need to have a new page for this. Let's make a new page. The next thing we need to work out is we've got the two different, um, so we've got the A part, the A part is 100 millimeters, and then we've got the B part, the B part is 900, so we need to work these out in parallel now, and it's 100 millimeters of A, 900 millimeters of B, so that's one tenth, and that's nine tenths, so the U value for the whole lot is UA times 1 over 10 plus UB times 9 over 10. Um, if you concentrate really hard, you can keep all these things in the calculator. Uh, but just to show you how, what to do, so you can follow your steps, it's a good idea. Often a good idea to write things down. Um, UA is 0.178. UB is 0.133. So now we can use the calculator. Hopefully we'll get the answer. Point three three one three 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 in there. Let's just leave that as it is. Um, plus point one seven eight times one divided by ten. So the answer we've got is zero point one three eight watts per meter squared Kelvin. So that's the answer for in parallel.